All right, welcome back to Cradle. I got back here. I don't quite remember if I had done anything else. I just spawned with the uh, the visor at the end of the mini game and just ran over here. I don't think we did anything with Ida. Like we couldn't, right? Don't quite remember. Didn't control check. But yeah, we're here. Before we talk to uh, Tabaha, though, apparently this game is achievements, and I've been getting them. But, for some reason, this game is one of those games where, like, I guess it doesn't... It doesn't, like, update the save file or update the file in Steam that tells you that your account has gotten achievements or something until you quit the game. So, basically, you don't know if you've gotten any achievements until you quit the game, check Steam, then launch the game again, then, like, keep playing, and then quit the game. Did you get any achievements? It's very annoying. There have been a number of games like that over the years for me, so, uh, apparently we have a bunch of achievements. We've gotten front Friend, Take Care of the Eagle, Treasure Hunter, Find Your Toys, Engineer, Activate Ida, Sand Warrior, Complete the Endless Pavilion, Unconditioned Reflex, Restore Ida's Breath, so far so good, but... Esthete, Esthete, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce that. Collect the most beautiful flowers. So... And then Tropical Warrior, complete the Tropical Islands Pavilion. So all of these are just like normal achievements, anyone would get them for playing the game. But this one, I'm wondering if that's because I did the like 90 plus, uh, what was it called again? HC? For each flower? Maybe that's the achievement, like if you make sure to get really pretty ones, you get that achievement. Or maybe not, since the like amount of people that got it is very high. It's kind of weird, like, how, how is this even possible? Yeah, seriously, how is that even possible? How could fewer people have completed Sand Warrior, which gives you the breathing module, than the people that restored Ida's breath? Yeah, there's something, something suspicious going on here, some cheating probably, like Steam Achievement Manager or whatever, but that, that shouldn't, Steam Achievement Manager shouldn't, like, affect these these rates, right? If you just unlock all the achievements, it would be if you intentionally unlock this one and not this one, which would be very strange. Or maybe, maybe there's some bug where like people complete Endless Pavilion and they don't get this achievement, but they do get this one. I don't know. But yeah, maybe this one is just collect the flowers and it's not actually anything about, you know, specific values. But anyway, guess I'm, I'm gonna have to check that like every episode or something. I, I guess I'll like, eh. I don't want to quit the game in between recordings because uh, that's just annoying having to like redo stuff. So yeah, we'll just we'll basically have to update achievements every two episodes, I suppose. But now, take the lens from Tabaha. Okay, let's talk to Tabaha. I have not like looked at all of this now, but I don't think that affects anything in the game world. Same with like inside the house and stuff. So have hello. You had a death wish? Why would you go there? We needed to. Where? Oh, nowhere. Did you bring the flowers? Here you go. Atta boy. Oh. Here is your lens. My word is my bond. I'm not even going to ask what you want with it. I don't know what's going on in your head today. And I don't want to know. Tabaha, what do you know about this amusement park? Stay away from it if you know what's good for you. Why do you think it's been fenced off? Because you shouldn't go in there. You'll be better off. I don't know, seems fine to me. You must remember something. Tell me. Think, man. I wasn't even around back then. There was an amusement park. And I guess someone must have exploded in there. Am I supposed to remember every explosion that ever happened? All I know is this damn poison-filled behemoth has been standing there for 20 years now. And nobody ever gave a crap. But suddenly you do. Why? I'm curious. It's just so... strange. Sure it is. But why do you care? What are you after? I want to know why kids were undergoing transfers. If they were, then there was a reason for it. Why does that even surprise you? It's just a regular mere transfer. But to Baja, they don't do transfers to kids. To ordinary kids, they don't. These kids... They may not have been all that ordinary. I saw them once at an airport, with their teachers. 
I remembered those kids standing there all pale and silent. It was forbidden to talk to them. So there. At an airport? Where were they coming from? From all over. They were being brought here from all corners of the world. What's so special about these parts? Damned if I know. There used to be some kind of station here. A polar station. They were researching something. Polar? I think that's what they called it. It didn't interest me in the slightest. Well, he's kind of nice. I thought he would be very, like, gruff and abrupt and just like, I don't give a shit. Who cares? I'm leaving. To Baja. I've got a request for you. Uh, let me guess. You want me to dig up everything there is to know about the Gabera Garden, am I right? Only what happened on the day of the explosion. Jeez, Anabish. Won't you just forget about this damn garden? Fine, I'll look into it. You're so sweet. Thanks, Tabaha. All right, I've got a roll. Last thing I need is to rack up airs and lose my wits. You know how vulnerable I am to that stuff. I may look calm and collected, but I've got crazy energy and passion for life. Oh, come on. Now we're just being mean. You look just plain odd. Those glasses and nose. These glasses are one of a kind. You couldn't get them in your wildest dreams. But I got them at half price. That's because I'm a high roller, while you'll be chasing such luxuries all your life. Please, don't forget about my request. Yeah, our main character is, is kind of an asshole a lot of the time. He's just very rude to people. And yeah, I did realize these, I guess, are just power lines to power these gates or something, and then the things just fly, like, off them anyway. I thought these were, like, wires that they would hang off of and fly on, like one of those uh, gondola things, but nope. So I guess that makes sense. It wasn't, like, desynced or anything like that. I feel like the frame rate is even worse than normal today, but... I'm not so sure. Like, it might be this weather effect or something that's causing some issues. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, hi, Ongots. Was that you? Did you finish your meal? Nope. Ongots, you gotta eat so you can stay strong and healthy. I guess we can't do anything with him? Her? It? Hey, Ida. What's up? Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? Uh... I've done all these, right? You said these were five-year-old kids, right? Ongots? I don't remember their exact... And their new bodies. Were they similarly... small? Got no, it, got it, cozy got it. Imaginable. Got it. Ongots is gone. Bye, Ongots. Alright, I don't know why why he showed up and then just left again, what that's supposed to be, but I guess he does that. Did you bring what I asked? I did. The look screen as well? The look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect the broken look screen. The input is inside right behind it. Install the lens first and then my eyes. And then your eyes. Okay, and we still don't turn you off for this. Nope. Oh. Kind of creepy. What? What's that sound? I guess that's just the the music. Is it? Sorry, I missed her. Like moment of looking at stuff. Maybe we should redo that. One sec. Oh yeah, there we see Angots coming in. So I guess kind of worth it replaying this just for that. Grab me, Angots. Fly away. But I don't know why he's even here. Does he eat? 
eats a little bit. Nice. I guess he just eats every once in a while during a day. And now it's not like scalding hot literal lava anymore. And then he just like flies off after a certain set time, I guess. All right. Did you bring what I asked? I did. The look screen is the look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect and then your eyes. Okay. Sorry for uh, interrupting your self-reflecting moments before. It just sounds that sound sounds like something is going on outside. So I got a bit surprised. Yeah, you probably don't want to touch that. You like it? It was my grandpa's. Well, how's your vision? Is it working? It's probably a bit overstimulating. Yes. I just... What? Mm, nothing. It's fine. My eyesight is back, thank you. He's so, like... I don't know, there's something about this main character, he's so, like... What's the word? Not, like... Empathetic? Or whatever? Unsympathetic? He, he feels very, like... In his own little world, not really relating to anyone. What happened? Did you remember something? Yes, actually, I did. I know now why I wasn't on that list. Why weren't you? I wasn't on staff. I would come to the Gerbera Garden with the kids and go back with the same group. Meaning, I wasn't a full-time employee. I merely accompanied the children. Tabaha said those kids were accompanied by teachers. Those weren't teachers. It was psychologists that accompanied them. I'm a children's psychologist. What a twist. Why the need for a psychologist at an amusement park? Well, come on, we've been over this. This is not an amusement park at all. Yeah. Those kids didn't come here for entertainment. They were gravely ill and were brought here for treatment. The Gobera Garden was a clinic. Okay, I mean, that's, that's new information, but like... We know they were doing transfers and stuff. It makes sense that they would need psychologists and doctors and people to make sure that it was going well, but he's like, what do you mean? It was an amusement park, wasn't it? What were they treated for? Some kind of psychological disorder. Quite severe, often fatal. But it's hard to say exactly what it was. I can't recall. You mean the transfer was their therapy? One part of it, yes. There was a whole set of measures. Body replacement was the final phase of the therapy. We also searched for parts and staged plays. They, too, were part of the treatment. Plays? What kind of plays? I... I remember this one episode. There was a vessel in front of the stage, kind of like a bathtub. But did I see that? I don't remember seeing that. I just remember the weird, like, poison-spewing, creepy centipede thing. Or, like, worm. It's still there. I saw it. Well, the kids would put M-body parts in it. Each one would bring their own part from the pavilion and put it into the bathtub. And as it filled up, the MC would combine all the parts into a single body. And what happened then? And then... There was a cloud of steam. The body would be quickly, imperceptibly replaced with a young woman's and she would pick up the lead. She would fight some giant head. And then something else would happen. I can't remember all the details. Is the giant head thing the thing we saw? And the cubes? Were they also part of the treatment? The cubes, the flower beds, even the height of the pavilions. All were deliberate, mandatory elements of the same therapy. The Gerbera Garden was constructed specifically for those children. It was the only means of treating their illness, peculiar though it may have been. Sounds like uh, we're getting closer and closer to getting like a name drop of it was a cradle for them. Oh my god. The illness must have been peculiar to match. It's still hard for me to imagine what it might have been, but those kids, they evoked more than just compassion. There was something else, some other complicated, ambiguous feeling. Tabaha is right. Those kids were unusual. 
Yes, and the amusement park was as well. Which means all arrivals had to be registered, myself included. I'll try to look for some kind of visitor's logbook or... Or what? What is it? My battery. Oh. It's nearly discharged. Bad news. I need you to make sense of all this. In that case, Anubis, you'll need to play with those cubes some more. Sure thing, I love playing! Sure thing, Nita. I'll play. What game? Which pavilion? A moment. Hands, wrists. Come on, I want to play! Tenth pavilion. I'm just gonna say this All first. Right, I'm off. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, I, I don't think she can. And yeah, I guess uh, she doesn't really want to be shut off in between these talks because waking up doesn't seem too pleasant. Did you bring the battery? Help me understand something. What? You mentioned original's right. What is that? That's a right to bear identity. When a new M body is activated during a transfer, it is also bestowed original's right, thus acquiring an identity. At that very moment, the former body loses this right and is destroyed. Destroyed? Why? I'm not sure. Perhaps to ensure the two never communicate. Why? What would happen if they communicate? I can't be sure. That's a rare occurrence. I believe the consequences are rather strange. They... I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if we got it. Got it. I don't know if we uh, read about that somewhere. About, like, copies interacting in some way. Yeah, okay. So where do we have that battery? What does it look like? Just here. And it's just in the chest. But I mean, I got batteries. Just like shove this in there, right? Take it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, hold on. Okay, nope. I just figured, oh, like reducing the settings might do something for the uh the frame rate like it is very bad right now but i think it's no it's the same you probably can't even really tell but yeah it's just been very framey since we got out into this like foggy area like this just seems even poorer optimized than the sunny area was at the start which is strange i don't know why it would be but i guess it is Yeah, this game sure wasn't well optimized. I'm glad I never tried playing it on like my previous two PCs, because that would not have ended well. Like this is bad, but at least playable. Uh, I forgot what she said. Which pavilion was it? I was not paying attention. Five? Ten. Tenth pavilion. So that's like up here somewhere. So, where is this bathtub they mentioned? This one, I guess. And this is the thing they would fight? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So ten. That's seven, is it? No, it's... Yeah, seven, nine. So ten is right here. Cloud Country. Yeah, there's these as well. Oh, I wonder. Oh, man. Oh. The illness in those kids wasn't accidental. Before getting sick, there was something special about them. Some kind of useful quality. This quality allegedly gave them an intellectual advantage over grown-ups. 
Uh huh. What was happening in here? We didn't hear this last time I was here, did we? Oh yeah, I was just thinking... Man, I should have brought the, like, scanner thing to scan these. Maybe they have, like, a value of something? Uh, do I get that? I guess I get that. Excuse me. I need this. Hang in there. Is it gonna be something where, like, I'm one of the kids, I guess? I'm one of the kids that was transferred here? That would kind of make sense. I want this. So. What's that sound? It's like someone laughing. So. Damn it, stop. Stop. Stop swaying. No. Unless this is something we do later on. It's so awkward. Alright. Whoa, what the hell? Who? What? Who's there? I'm armed. What was that about? It just like fell from up here? There's ghosts. Yeah, I'm not so sure I have time for this minigame, like, I'm gonna cut a lot, so it's probably not gonna be that that late, but at the same time, I think it might be too late. God, that's loud. Jesus. Yeah, I think, I think it's better if we just leave it off here for today, and then next time we'll do this minigame. Because I don't know if this is going to be like a two-minute two, two minute one or a 15-minute one, so... Mostly talking, but things are coming to light a little bit. The mystery is being unveiled. So yeah, it's quite interesting now, now that we're in more actually playing the game and progressing territory instead of just looking around and jumping around on things and reading notes. So yeah, battery for Ida next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.